Hello and welcome to the Transition to Grade 1 video. My name is Tim Belfield and I am the Primary Principal here at LIS. And normally we would meet in person, but due to the coronavirus, we thought it was best to do a video. This is actually my second attempt at doing the video. My first attempt was far too long and the file size far too big. Therefore, hopefully, in this second attempt, I'll let the slides do the talking. The main purpose of this video is to ensure a smooth transition for your child to primary. Many of you are coming from LIK. Here is a picture of the environment they are used to. Some of you might be coming from other local kindergartens, but please be assured we will do whatever we can to make sure that your child has a smooth transition to primary school. These are the main topics that we're going to cover today. So without any further ado, let's move on to the most important thing to remember, and it is just one main item. It's this, it's the Primary School Parent Handbook. There is a huge amount of information in it. Too much to read in one go, but hopefully it has everything you need to know. And it's found on our website at www.lis.school. And so the rest of this presentation will hopefully be about things that you can't find in this handbook. But if you have any questions at all, please have a look at the handbook and hopefully it will help. So let's have a look at the current team. Now the future team might change slightly. We haven't finished exactly placing everybody, but by showing you the current team, you'll have a good idea of the types of people your child will see. You have three grade level teachers, the class teachers, who are supported by an educator in class who also work in Hort, and they are the top six photos. The four people at the bottom, this is the primary school management team. And our job is to try and do everything we can to support the class teachers, the educators, and all of the other people who you are about to see. We have the student support services team. So we have Mrs. Eels, who is the head of the department, we have a counsellor who you might have seen over at LIK and Miss Leto also works over at LIK with EY3 as a learning support teacher. Then we have our two nurses, Mrs. Belfield and Mrs. Myers, who also go over to LIK. So some familiar faces there. We have an EAL team that is English as an additional language team. For those children who are new or still at the beginning or still learning English, this team helps support the class teachers and the educators in providing English to your child. Here is our German department. It's six strong. There is three different German classes in grade one and we also have a GAL class which stands for German as an additional language. So a bit like EAL, for those children who are new to German or still in the early stages of learning German, it's actually Frau Giels, the bottom middle picture, who takes the GAL classes there and supported by a Hort volunteer. We have a number of substitute teachers who step into the role of class teachers or other specialists in case of their absence. So there are no cancelled lessons as such. There is always going to be a teacher on hand. And myself and Mrs. Van Kosky, who is the assistant principal, also help provide uh, cover for absent teachers. We have a teacher librarian, Miss Carol. We have a dedicated music teacher. And we have a team of PE teachers as well. So there are a number of similarities to EY3 at LIK. 
These are the main similarities, but the one I'm going to focus on is the philosophy, which is primarily ensuring that we get to know your child, get to know how they work, and we will do whatever we can to ensure that your child has the best education possible. And we do that by learning about their four types of learning and how they progress. But there are another number of similarities to EY3 as listed here. We also have the IPC, the International Primary Curriculum in Primary. Here are some details. The IPC is something that I have personally been using for 13 years now, and I've seen how children have grown and developed, and I, I truly believe it is one of the best primary curriculums out there in the world. Um, hugely beneficial and some of the children who I was teaching 13 years ago have gone on to very well recognized universities and beyond. Um, Harvard, the, the Ivy League places in America, Oxford, Cambridge. Definitely a curriculum that I would highly recommend. Within the IPC there are eight personal goals. Now these goals are actually going to change in August, but the language that you see here is common throughout the whole of primary, and this is something that we talk about a lot in our assemblies, in our weekly awards called the Student of the Week, and throughout every classroom. But what will your child be learning? Here is a typical day. We do have HORT that starts at seven o'clock in the morning, and we have the afternoon HORT that runs from three o'clock until five o'clock. The actual teaching day runs from 8.30 till three o'clock and is made up of six 45 minute periods. And in between those, we have a half hour snap break followed by outdoor play and an hour long lunch break with outdoor play as well. The curriculum, we have specialist teachers who provide five lots of 45 minutes of German. Our German curriculum is based upon the Saxony curriculum, but we've got a big green light, a big green tick from the Saxony authorities for how we conduct our German lessons. We have specialist teacher for library, for music, and of course the children will have two 45 minute periods of PE. Normally we have those both together so they have an hour and a half in one go. From the class teacher, they will teach English, maths, and IPC, and with the IPC that covers everything else you can think of. So art, geography, history, social studies, international studies, it covers everything else. But the first three weeks of school to us is probably the most important three weeks because we want to get to know your child and we also want the children to get to know us. So we don't dive straight into the curriculum and hit it hard, we spend a lot of time, the first three weeks of school, really getting to know each other, establish a routine, and make sure your child is in the right frame of mind for learning. So in these three weeks, we spend time looking at the individual students, the classes, the grades, the primary school as a whole, LIS as a whole, Leipzig, and German. Our IPC units this year, there were five units. Now, some of these pictures are a little bit old, but that's because of the, uh, sadly, due to the coronavirus, we couldn't go to all of the field trips. But there are five units that we've done this year, and we hope to continue with them next year as well for a bit of consistency. But rest assured, the children certainly, certainly do enjoy these. 
So Hort, as I've said, it starts at seven in the morning, it runs till 8.30, and then we have it again at three o'clock in the afternoon till five. Normally, our educators would have spent a lot of time getting to know the children in EY3, and some of them did meet the EY3 children during the winter break. Sadly, due to coronavirus, we've uh, not been able to spend as much time over there getting to know them, but our educators are amazing. They are with us throughout the day. So not only are they there during the hot times, but they're also there in class providing support as well. And our hot educators, I don't know how they do it. We have about 286 children in primary. Every single hot educator knows every single child's name. It's, it's a sight to behold. But our HORT is integrated into the primary school. It is available on school days at no additional charge. And here is a reminder of the times. And HORT offers learning through play, fun and exploration. There is a separate HORT building just beside the main building that has four special rooms on the top floor. We have a creative space, a game space, a quiet space, and a active space and we also have the outside the outdoor learning environment which the children can mix with others from different ages under normal circumstances and lots of choices but clearly we are going to be a bit different from lik and other kindergartens your child is now going to be joining primary school so what are the new things and major events? The three main new things are whole primary assemblies. Every Friday morning, or most Friday mornings at 8.50, we gather in the aula. Parents are welcome, whether your child is starring or not. And we have a collective time together where we look at different things, sing songs, and celebrate the learning that's been happening. And there's also reference here to class assemblies, your child during the year with the rest of the classmates will put on a little mini show for you, about 10 to 15 minutes, and you'll get a special invite to that. But please come along to our primary school assemblies. They're, they're just great fun. We do have a cafeteria. Um, the lunch times are staggered for the older children. So grade ones will be one of the first grades to go into the cafeteria. And clearly our learning environment inside and out is going to be different for the children. We have a picture here of our school garden. And we also have a picture of just part of our playground with the spider's web climbing frame that was installed over the summer of 2019. But there are, are, there are swings, there is a football pitch, basketball court, there is a pirate ship, a tree house. I wish I was back in primary enjoying these things. The other new thing is the golden rule. There are lots of different routines and ways of doing things, but we only really have one rule, and that is we treat others the way we would like to be treated. As a school, we find that covers every kind of behavioral moment that ever occurs in primary. And it's there nice and easy to help support the children and our positive behavior policy, where inevitably children do make mistakes and our job as teachers and educators is to help them, support them and those children affected by mistakes, but we do it together. Some major events are listed here, but the one that you will be most interested in right now is Einschulung. It is scheduled for Saturday the 15th of August, but under the current rules from Saxony, we can't do our normal approach. So we are looking at doing things a little bit differently at the moment. So hopefully more news in the future, but there are some major events. And of course, there are field trips throughout the whole year based around those IPC units mentioned before. Also the German team take the students out as well. Lots of things to see and do for your child. So information, communication and involvement. 
There are four ways which you can gather just information. The parent handbook, parent portal, school website, and our Facebook. But in terms of communicating, we do have an open door policy, but please bear in mind that during about 8.27 to three o'clock, we are teaching. So we can't really answer emails. We can't really meet with parents. We want to make sure that we're giving those children in our care our full attention. I would encourage you to speak directly to the staff member at Concerns. You are always welcome to contact and speak me. Um, but one thing I will ask you is, have you spoken to the staff member at Concerns? And of course, we have reports. They're issued three times a year. And we have what's called parent, teacher, child conferences up to three times a year where you and your child will meet with your child's class teacher and other specialists. Like LIK, we have room parents and this group is very active. We have up to two room parents per class that are representatives of that class. And we meet together every month lot more information on our website. There's an example of the handbook here, but we have updated this handbook. In fact, we're gonna have two handbooks, one that gives general information and one that will provide guidance for anybody who offers their time as a room parent. But I hope to see lots of people signing up to be in room parents. It's a really, really good environment to work in and it's a fabulous group of parents. And I am very grateful as principal for all of the work that they've contributed and all of the guidance and advice and input they've had on curriculum discussions and policies. Hope to see you there. So three tips for August. Here we go. The first tip is please make sure that your child's sleep routine is done before school starts and not the day before. If you think you have to get your child up at six in the morning ready for school, please don't start getting the child up at six o'clock the day before school starts. As a parent myself, I have three children in the school. Over the holidays, they will start to go to bed later and get up later. But with a week before school, I tend to slowly work them back to their six o'clock get up. So please establish those routines before school starts, because you also need a healthy breakfast every morning. You might see an interesting research fact there, but yes, it's very noticeable when a child hasn't had a good healthy breakfast because perhaps they've gotten up late, they've not had time, and clearly it affects their learning, and that's something none of us want. So please have a look at all the information sent to you, parent handbook, the parent portal, a common question is, what's important on the parent portal? Well, we only upload things that are important. So if you see an email message that's saying there is something new on the parent portal, please have a look. It is of importance. Questions. Clearly, we can't do questions how I'd like to do. So please have a look at this video. Have a look at the information on our website and the handbook. If there is anything really pressing, really important that isn't answered anywhere else, feel free to send me an email and I will do my best to answer any questions as quickly as possible. As we do with presentations in primary, we would like to end with a final thought. I'm going to let the pictures do the talking for me. These are just a few images of what happens in primary. You have field trips. You have times when parents come in and see student work. You have concerts. You've got staff that are forever dressing up. You've got reading buddies. You've got the whole... There is so much happening in primary. It's a great place to be.
And I stand by what I said at the start. Our job is to make sure that we give your child the best education possible. Can we do it alone? No. We have to work together with you, with your child for that to happen. But we will do whatever we can with you to make sure it does happen. So for now, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. Hopefully, we will have some form of Ein Chu Lung up and running soon. But for now, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.